Hi YouTube, it's me, Danny, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and I make videos about all things that I am passionate about, which include travel, aviation, wellness, spirituality, and so much more. If you like what you see here today, then make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any updates for my future content. So if you watch my last YouTube video, you'll know that I am currently in Costa Rica. I've now left Monteverde. So I traveled by a thing called Jeep Boat Bus, I think, or Jeep Boat Jeep. Anyway, I took a boat across Lake Arenal, which takes you from Monteverde to La Fortuna, which is the home of the Arenal volcano. That was a really nice way to arrive here in La Fortuna. It took about four hours to get here. It's really nice when you cross the, the lake um, and you have really nice views of the volcano as you're approaching as you're approaching La Fortuna. So yesterday when I arrived, I was feeling pretty tired and hungry. So first stop, I went in to the, I guess the central part of the city. Um, and I just had a look at the restaurants and shops. And I went to this restaurant called Organico Fortuna. So I had a really nice vegan bowl there and also a hibiscus iced tea. So that was really nice. And I noticed they served the drink with a metal straw so yeah i really love how they're really big on the environment here so after that i just couldn't really be bothered doing much else so i had booked a one hour relaxation massage which was awesome i love getting massages i love going to spas i love getting facials i love getting manicures and pedicures <laughs> one thing i really love is like treating myself and especially i don't know i think most of the time when i go on holiday i always will treat myself to a massage um i just love it it feels so good and i was feeling really sore like very tight on my back after the flight um, probably because I just was sitting on a plane for so many hours and I feel so much better today after getting my massage last night. So today I woke up really early, had my breakfast, well basically had to eat really fast because the tour guide <laughs> was picking me up very early in the morning and I hadn't even finished my breakfast when they arrived so I had to like shove it in my mouth and come down to the the shuttle and i did a i booked a all day tour today and the thing is it was just raining all day long like not just light drizzling rain like i encountered in monteverde it was like bucketing down all day so i got absolutely drenched i've just got back and i blow dried my hair a little bit because i was just I look like a drowned rat, like just so, my clothes are wet, my hair was wet, it was just, just a mess and I was cold. Um, so that was the only, I guess, negative thing about today. Um, the things that I did were amazing, but I just think if the weather was a little bit more pleasant, it would have been just so much more amazing like i still had a good day but yeah the rain definitely i don't know just the rain definitely impacted the day a little bit particularly because this morning i started the tour with a hike it was Arenal 1968 so that was when i believe the last eruption with lava um, so they've named this hike Arenal 1968. And the hike was really good the only thing is because of the weather 
I couldn't even see the volcano. So the, the hike, you hike to the summit and then from the summit you can see, we should be able to see the volcano, like the whole hike. But once you arrive at the summit, you should have really nice views of the volcano, but I could not even see it. Like I was looking around like, which, where is the volcano? Like that's how foggy and misty the sky was. So that was a bit of a shame because I just can imagine like if you did the hike on a nice day, like the views would have been stunning. There's a cafe there as well with really nice views if it's a nice day. <laughs> so I had a cup of tea and I made the most of the morning, but I was just like, this is such a shame because it would have been such an amazing view had it been a nice day. But I only had today here, so this is my only full day in La Fortuna. I'm moving again tomorrow. I'm going on a retreat for seven days. Um, so yeah, I just, I had to do the tour today. <laughs> it's just a shame about the weather. So as you can see, there is the So I got absolutely drenched on that hike, as you can see, look at my hair. I did not dress appropriately for the hike, but anyway, it was still really nice. Like the hike was really nice because there was a lot of greenery, um, but obviously I wish that the sun was out so I could see the volcano because once I made it to the summit, you still, you couldn't even see the volcano, which was the whole point of the hike. But still, it was it was good. But it would be really nice on a clearer, a clearer day. But you know, what was really cool. Um, you know, having just you know vented a little bit. But one thing that was really cool is I saw a snake, and it was funny because at the beginning of the hike, the tour guide was saying to us that to be careful because sometimes there's snakes that are like um, kind of hanging from the trees. And I was thinking that would be really cool to see a snake, right? Like, I, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of intrigued by snakes. I was like, well, that would be kind of cool. Um, as long as it doesn't bite me. <laughs> but I heard that snakes are telepathic. So apparently they can read your thoughts. And I always think, well, I think really positively. So I don't think it would bite me. But anyway, so I thought that thought which i believe i manifested seeing a snake because that's how you manifest you you get excited about something or you feel happy about something and you magnetize that thing to you but i wasn't like attached to the outcome i wasn't like desperately wanting to see a snake i was just like oh that would be cool if i saw a snake today and literally like just before we were leaving um the hike there was all these tourists gather around this bush so our tour guide took us around once they had left and then showed us like this little snake in the in the bushes i would have never have seen it had i not been with a tour guide so that's one good thing about getting a tour guide here like they can point out things that you would not see like if i was just doing this hike by myself I would have just walk straight past the snake so that was really cool so after the hike we went to this waterfall um catarata catarata la fortuna i think it is so it's like the main waterfall here in la fortuna and again it was pouring and it was so rainy and just like miserable con conditions that the water was really rough so normally you can swim um when you go to these waterfalls but i unfortunately i couldn't swim again today in the waterfall because i bought my bathers this time but this time the water was too rough to swim so yeah that sucked as well because i really wanted to go swimming in the waterfall today anyway Okay. 
is me post hike to the waterfall absolutely drenched that you saw the um the conditions of the waterfall that the water was so strong so they didn't allow us to to go in which is a shame because this is the second time now i haven't been able to swim in the waterfall but hopefully this is not my last waterfall that i visit while i'm in costa rica and hopefully the next one i'll be able to swim in because actually i wanted to i brought my bathers this time so i could swim but then the weather is just crazy it has not stopped pouring down rain since the morning so it's not the best day for a tour but unfortunately this is my only full day i have in uh, la fortuna so this is the only opportunity i have to do this tour but so far the weather has not been my friend so that happened and then i had lunch i had lunch at this i don't know what the restaurant was but it was like a traditional restaurant um that served like the typical like costa rican dish so at this restaurant we got to have a i think it's called a casado which is like a traditional costa rican dish and it just basically is like a bit of rice a bit of beans some vegetables like a salad and you can have like a protein like a meat of some sort and the plantain which is like the I think it's like a fried banana um, yeah so I had that and I had this really delicious watermelon juice um, it was so fresh like I'm not a big juice person but when it's like fresh like proper fruit from the jungle and you know it's been freshly squeezed that's when i love juice so that was a really nice watermelon juice very refreshing so i had lunch and then after that to finish the tour we went to the mystico hanging bridges this was kind of my second trek um if you watch my previous vlog on the cloud forest in monteverde it was similar to that although this one was definitely more customized for tourists because it had like a parved um walkway um but the the hanging bridges were really cool there's like i don't know maybe 10 or so bridges that we cross and some of them are quite scary they're very very high and you know you can feel the the bridge moving as you walk across it so i'm not really scared of heights so i found it quite cool but if you were scared of heights you might find the bridges a little bit um yeah a bit challenging <laughs> That's the volcano. I had to buy myself a beautiful poncho because it's just so wet at the moment. I didn't see much animals at the, the, the forest because, because of the weather really. It was just so it was just so rainy and, and I had to buy this big poncho to so I just didn't keep getting drenched because for the whole day I was just not dressed appropriately. I didn't bring a raincoat here, which is my bad. I should have followed the advice that I read online about bringing a raincoat, but I was like, oh, I'll be fine, you know, but this was like heavy, heavy rain. <laughs> so I had to end up buying like a really expensive poncho. 
I mean, it's not that expensive, but expensive for what it is, I'll probably never wear it again. So, you know, what to do when in Costa Rica, Pura Vida, that's what they say a lot here, Pura Vida, Pura Vida. They said it means like saying all good, but in its literal trans translation is the pure life. Um, but they just say it all the time here, which is cool. So today was a bit like, mm, hit and miss like it was really good but i just think if it was a nice day like the wet the sun was out i could see the volcano i could go swimming in the waterfall you know i'd be able to see more animals in the forest i think it would have been so much more amazing but this is what i got you know and we have to just always be grateful for the present moment you know because even though this wasn't my ideal way of touring Costa Rica you know there is something still that is so perfect about today you know because I believe that everything happens for a reason and nothing is in our control so as much as I want to control the weather no 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 that is very arrogant of me um, you know today was just a reminder to be humble and to just trust that everything is happening how it's meant to happen and there's still beauty in rainy days you know and i'm glad that i went regardless because i still had a great day i met some great people and yeah i would definitely definitely recommend la fortuna so i'm going to end my vlog here but if you like this vlog as I mentioned earlier, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content from me. I'm planning to make lots and lots of videos. This is not the end of my Costa Rican journey. I am now going to a retreat where I'm actually going to go offline for a while. Um, but then once I come back online, I'm planning to go to Manuel Antonio. So I'll probably shoot another vlog there. So... Stay tuned for that one. Um, otherwise, take care of yourself and I will see you in my next vlog. Mwah.